What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, this time, honey, we got old Marcel Scott, honey. Okay, big toenail head is what Miss Robinson called that fool. Um, he is going in, honey, on the mellow meters. What happened? Listen, that nigga need to be minding his own business. He need to pay uh, that $50 that his wife owed to her makeup artist. Absolutely. What you, what you feel about this, uh, Miss Van? I don't do the ghetto. <laughs> okay, that was a little Miss Van with brand new honey. I don't do the ghetto. <laughs> Marceau said, honey, the mellow meters are not invited to the black. He don't care if y'all trying to uh, do a whole blackout on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep watching the show because I want to see what happens. And I enjoy the show. And hell, shit, I'm nosy, okay? Yeah, Miss Robinson trying to hold something, okay? And I'm trying to hold on to Love and Marriage Huntsville, Cause we got some things to do around these parts. So I'm not boycotting the show. Please don't get in my comments talking about you need to just hang it up. No, no, no. If you don't want to watch the show, that's your prerogative. Okay. But it's my prerogative. Okay. And I will watch what I want to watch until I don't want to watch. I want to see Melody take hook headed down. Okay, and he already located on the first floor, but it looked like Miss Melody Honey went back to the blonde hair, and uh, she want to gather this food, and I'm here for it. Okay, I want to see the Eminem kids. I want to see, hopefully they get back on the show. I don't know why they were taken off the show. Anybody listening to Martell Hook-Headed Holt, honey, is like sick, twisted, and pathetic. I don't know what judge is listening to him. All you gotta do is watch the goddamn show. You'll see that this nigga is a stalker, a liar, a narcissist, a cheater, a deceiver, a heartbreaker. Okay, like, listen. Okay, like, all you gotta do is just watch the show. But yeah, uh, Marceau is obsessed with Melody, Cherie, honey, we know he wants some of them draws. Okay, we know what I know. I know what I'm looking at. Yes, he is married to Latifa. Okay, but he really desires Melody. Why y'all think he always trying to be alone with her? Why y'all think the one time he had a date night playing with Latifa and he invited Mel? Like, I told y'all, he is obsessed. Everybody obsessed with Mel. A.L. is obsessed with Mel, Marceau, Martel, Ariane, and the list goes on and on. Okay, I can't make these things up. Okay, like, listen, but he said he don't care if y'all come down to the black, y'all not invited to the black. I say it the black open shit because they said that y'all was closed. You was under construction, okay, because you still owe all these people. We know damn well y'all ain't paying them. So, yeah, the mellow meters ain't trying to go up in no damn black. They don't want to see your big head ass, and they don't want to see that thieving ass wife of yours either. Okay, I wouldn't trust y'all uh, around my purse. No way. I wouldn't trust you with my food stamp card, library card, social security card. I wouldn't trust y'all with shit. Because the Scots, honey, I mean the knots, because they are not who they say they are, honey. They they be on that thievery, honey. Okay, we will say allegedly, but honey, that ain't what the people are saying. The people are coming out saying y'all don't pay. <laughs> Y'all getting paid, but y'all ain't paying y'all bills. Okay, we we heard from the business lady, honey, that said that you scammed her, took all her damn money, still ain't finished the damn project. You tried to get by and, and, and do some old slick bullshiggity. We heard from Tisha's makeup artist that she didn't even want to pay the damn discounted price of $50 to get the damn makeup done. Okay, where they do that at? Listen. Okay. We also heard from the, the black man and the black woman that came out and said that y'all stole the whole black business expo concept from them. Took 
their idea and ran. We didn't see Latifa steal from Stormy, the shipping address, website designer, my ass, blaming that on him, girl, bye. And you felt no remorse. Absolutely. Her, her thieving ass. She, that bitch always stealing something. She can't come up with an original idea on her own, but she got all them damn degrees. That shit is crazy to me. I don't believe the bitch all that educated. She ain't. Oh, man, you, you got a thought so. Like, you always hate no me, Mel. You just jealous that I feel in my marriage. Bitch, you still married because you a slave, okay? Shit, you over there. <laughs> you over there probably uh, <laughs> being scammed, honey, out of your Social Security check that you going to be getting. But, honey, you ain't heard that, honey, from Miss Robinson. Okay, you ain't heard it from me, but yeah, you be over there uh, letting Marceau walk all over you. You bitches be killing me. Y'all be bragging about these raggedy ass marriages, allowing these niggas to move into your Section 8 rental and you think you doing something. How about the nigga buy you a house? How about that? Okay, how about that? How about that nigga move you up out the hood? Okay, because I know a few right now that love to do that. My man, my man, and want a windmill for their man. Okay, but girl, he moved in with you. How about he buy y'all a place and then you really do it? Listen, okay, but they won't do that. They won't do that, honey. Marceau says that the mellow meters have no power to black out the show. Child, if you keep talking, Marceau, they gonna be ready to black in your damn eye. You better be better steer clear, honey. The mellow meters they don't play. <laughs> they drag, and I'm talking about for days. <laughs> Child, let's see what the people think about this. One person says, let's keep it 1,000. Marsucky is a non-factor to all mellow meters. Another person says he is contradicting himself. If you hate them and don't want them patronizing you, then who cares if they boycott the show? Another person says Marceau is trying to do reverse psychology by saying he hates the mellow meters, knowing full well he loves anything associated with men. What did I tell y'all? I told y'all the people ain't buying that bullshit, okay? Never trust a nigga where you don't see um, his front teeth when he smile, okay? And we gonna leave that right there, that part right there. You better rack in size, okay? He wishes he had the same supporters to support his business. Exactly. That way they wouldn't be having to rob Peter, honey, to pay Paul, but we will say allegedly, honey, but, you know, that ain't what the people are saying, honey. <laughs> now the person says... Marceau is scared if they don't get the numbers, the show will be canceled. That is why he is concerned and he is serious. No more checks. He is worried. Don't let him fool you. That's why he's shrinking. Another person says all of this is for ratings. He thinks saying this will get more views. I no longer watch the show at all, but I follow the drama online and support Mel by buying her products. And I also stream her music. The rest of the cast is unlikable and untalented. Not untalented. Absolutely. These brother tuckers, they ain't got nothing on me. Oh, real quick, did y'all see the clips of Love and Marriage Huntsville, of Nail, you know, the way they made it look, honey, it looked like she Team Martell. I didn't like what she was saying. I am completely against the bullshiggity. She was talking, talking about she don't want to see Martell behind bars if things can get worked out. Girl, Melody been trying to work with that nigga for years. And you are acting nail like the rest of that stupid ass cash. You acting like you ain't seen this woman put forth effort in trying to work with this man. And it has, where has it gotten her? Nowhere. You think she's in and out of court with this nigga for no reason because she want to be? 
It was him that can't move on with his damn life. It was him that wanted to be a problem when it came to co-parenting the kids. He want to complain about all the babysitters that she has. Hell yeah, she has a village as she should helping her. She has four damn children, but he wants Melody to be stuck. Okay. He wants Melody to be broke. He wants to make it look like Melody don't love her kids if she ain't up under her kids every five minutes. And for Nell to say that to Stormy, you guys, in that clip, that shit really, like, I was like, oh, child. And y'all know I love me some Miss Nell, but she is wrong. You, your damn self, got into it with Marhell. Okay, shout out to y'all. <laughs> Marhell, you got into it with him. When you mentioned that Mel was going back to her original last name, Rogers, you had to scream and shout, you ain't exhausted yet. So girl, get out of here with that. What did y'all think about uh, that clip? Um, So one person says, no, I do not trust Nail, never have. However, editing is always something to think about. The clip we saw is manipulation by the show. They want to get us talking so that we will start talking and keep watching. That's cool. It's just that so many of those clips they've shown before are not how the scene actually turns out. That is a good point. In other words, I hope that Nail is not saying what we think she's saying. I hope she's not the snake that I think she is. Ooh, child. Sound like you made up your mind, honey, about Miss Nail. So one person says, I have considered that, but the statement that she made about her not believing in sending black men to jail, yeah, who gives a damn what color they are? If they are acting like Chucky dolls, their ass need to go away. Shit, like that gets on my nerves. Everything is not a black issue. It is the behavior. And it just so happens to be these damn black men. I don't give a damn what color he is. His ass need to be behind bars. All that shiggity he didn't did to Melody. Child, if y'all don't get out of here and miss Nail, you supposed to be Melody's friend. What the hell? Because they have kids in any context would be unfavorable, especially coming from a so-called friend. She hadn't bothered to get Mel's side before forming an opinion. I don't rock with people like Nail. I can't imagine having a friend that would say that about such a sensitive issue with an enemy of mine, no less. Exactly. I do not like when people try to make crazy ass, delusional ass, narcissistic ass people, when people try to make them look like they're normal, like something can be worked out with them. Because Melody has tried everything with this fool. And he always goes against the damn grain because he don't give a damn. Okay, he wants Melody to suffer. He wants to punish her. He wants to feel like he is in control of her. That's why he behaves the way that he does. Why else would he pop up while she on a date? Why would he tell the children that she's dating? Like, why, who does that? I'll tell you who does it. A narcissist that wants to do a smear campaign on you. So Dawn Michelle, y'all know Melody's manager, took to her social media and, you know, she talks about, you know, the people that are saying that, you know, they're not going to watch the show. Uh, she says, I understand anyone's position about their decision to watch what they want. However, I don't care if all the cast members, show producers, on TV, a dog, cat, fish, or a rat doesn't watch at Love and Marriage Huntsville. Baby, Dawn Michelle will be tuning in. My eyes will be wide open. I know that's right. Remote and pop corn please i know that's right girl i gotta gotta go and get my uh pack of gummy bears child okay i'm always looking forward to seeing the reigning queen take over the big screen i've watched this young lady work like a first boat slave to keep her dream alive i know that's right 
So a person comments to this and says, definitely agree with Dawn. How can you claim to support Mel, but then say you are not watching the show she sacrificed so much for? What is y'all in game, honestly? If she didn't care about the show, do you think she would show up every season to film with people she doesn't like and with a delusional ex? Viewership is declining. Bloggers are saying they won't watch or review the show. What exactly? do y'all want to happen y'all get in my comments and let me know what y'all think about that so another person makes a post and says the cast is taking up for hotel because he has dirt on all of them they're scared he's going to air them out that has to be a miserable life just tell your own business at this point i know that's right honey i think it's very weird we saw stormy stormy's husband kind of taking up for martell we see miss nail it looked like she taking up for martell like where the hell is melody's damn support I told you that Mel got a die so like we over Mel. But anyways, honey, that's all I got. That's all I got. Don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.